<clears throat> good, good afternoon, you two. I'm here with you for another deck profile. Well, an updated deck profile of my good old deck, Eyes Pendulum Dragon. I'm sorry, I couldn't record this while I'm alone. Um, my mother's here. Doing, talking about my aunt in Spanish. So sorry for that. Anyways, let's get to the deck. Pro let's get to the cards. Three arcs. I'm pretty sure some of you know what he does. If not, when an eyes card is destroyed by battle by card effects, special summon special summon one from the deck, hand or grave. It's a hard one per turn, so be careful on that. Through the main card, eyes pendulum dragon. Re battle damage reduction involving a pendulum. End phase destroy this. Search a monster with 1500 or less attack. That's a pendulum. Add to the hand, and can deal double battle damage as a monster effect, which is fun. Three Ash Blossoms to negate your opponents from searching. Hopefully you don't get covered again. If you do, you'll probably have something to negate uh, the spell. Uh, two Otis Persona. <laughs> Works for the scale, can negate extra deck monsters. One Phantasme, uh, attack reduction when attack when it battles by 1k for each pendulum card face up in the extra deck. Ying Shang to uh, make your rank 7s into level 7s for others, for other ones, which is fun. Arai Synchron for, for your level 8s or level 7s. And he can turn an in, eye in, or perform a pot into a level 1 tuner, which is helpful. One ether, one normal or special, banish a card on target one monster in the field, banish it. Not a once per turn. Or, yeah. Not even a, not a heart. Not a heart or once per turn. Eye is dissolver. It protects your monsters from battle. It protects your monster from card destruction. But you still take damage. Um, during your main phase, you can use this card to fuse it with your scales, which is fun. Harmonizing gets you into your level, your level 8 synchros, or level rank 4s, or even rank 2 monsters. But the monster you summon it, you summon using her effect, leaves a field automatically. So I recommend going to your rank 4 monsters. Black Fang. Special summon a Dark Magician. Uh, not dark, I was about to say Dark Magician. No. Special summon a Spot Caster from your a Dark Spot Caster from your grave. And when in scale, target on one, one monster your opponent controls. His attack is half, but this card is then destroyed until the end phase two, which is kind of weird. But as Wizard. Uh, when if destroyed by your opponent card effects, special summon odd eyes and add a spiral flare. Yeah, which is why you only need one of. In fact, Valor, you all know what he does. No explanation. But I have this to for a synchro for my level eight synchro monsters. Just like some fun. Odd eyes Lancer. Battle or card destruction protect by destroying an eyes you can in your hand or field or even uh, pendulum zone, which combos off of arc. Eyes advance, should be at level seven. Summon this. T target one monster your opponent controls. Destroy. They take its attack its damage, and when this card destroys a card on a uh, battle. Special summon an odd eye, uh, is it odd eyes or is it a, oh no, uh, special summon a level 5 or higher card from your hand or grave. I'm sorry for my mother, she's very loud. Odd eyes and, <laughs> odd eyes and Tasme. Uh, Thanos dragon, another hand trap for Lynx, and draw power too, because he's nice and fun for the... 
Even with this new format, you don't need it, but I still like to have it for the draw power. I'm sorry for all this. Uh, three of the main fuel spells, Sky Iris. Come with our arc, because you can destroy uh, not eyes. No, um, cardio control. Search. And all that. Well, you had to search for an odd ice card, actually. Search, that would have been, if it's search anything in general, that would have been broken and pretty sure banned. Three super polys. For your dark, for going against dark opponent, dark, uh, mon dark monsters that your opponent controls, that may have problematic effects, such as dark long where it banishes. Yeah, which is gonna be annoying. Cover three cover degree, cause you don't want to get ashed. Two those lines helps you search out for pendulum monsters or cards that has. Pendulum in its name, which is stupid. Can you just search Pendulum instead? Because you can search out spells and traps that have Pendulum in its name. And any monster in general that's Pendulum too, because most of the time those don't have searchers or have searchers, but there's specific requirements such as this one. Which, and you just need to control a face up pendulum monster in your spells and trap or a face up on the field, I presume. I oh, don't, no, it has to be in the pendulum zone, my bad. I just reread the effects. No. Now that's a horrible, horrible restriction on that card. Anyways, two spire flares. Well, one effect you can destroy a card on the field as long as you control an odd ice card, doesn't matter where. Then you can add a level 7 odd eyes pendulum monster or whatever the fuck. I'm starting to get to be here. Sorry, two odd eyes fusions for fusion summoning. Sometimes it helps to, for this card to be bait. One terraform to search out the fuel spell. So pendulum to increase your scales and attack for each counter it has. Remove three counters. You can uh, conduct another pendulum summon, which kind of helps. The one monster reborn. You all don't need explanation on that, because it's in his main name. It just re brings back a monster. MST for anti spell once this is face if this is face down and dimensional barrier to cuck over your opponent if you know what deck they're if you know what deck they're playing it helps cuck some over fusions one starring venom which is fun one on a vortex uh, returns a prominent attack position monsters and uh, negation. By everything you face up in the card, you control to the deck. And believe me, with this deck, you burn you through your resources fast. Uh, Draca Supelia. Yeah, that's all I gotta say about this. Oh, yeah, it gives a, gives a prayer from a counter to your opponent, which helps for the other one, and also it can it negates their effects because of that. Prayer of Planet 3 headed. We'll focus. There you go. So, uh. Yeah, your opponent control, monster controls Prayer of Planet counter. Special card in offense, and. When your opponent special summon an extra deck, you control this, negate its summon, and destroy it. Nice. Clearing Synchro Dragon. Uh, not Synchro Dragon, it's just Spring King Clearing. I uh, when Spice Summon destroy all cards your opponent controls, when it battles, the monster he battles is destroyed, and they take his attack as damage. Hot Red. Uh, negation and the free. It, not free. 
This one brings back a 200 monster from the grave. Is it level one? No, just circle one tuner. So it can help. This is a good synchro. Nine. Uh, you need a dark synchro though. Dragon, to be honest. Fortunately, every shield on vanishing cards on the field. On the field? Wait. Right. Think for us for a bit, which is kind of weird. And it's a. F it's, it's a kid meme and waifu cards we have in the deck. Now, a, pri a pricey uh, negation card. Bartle Savage. Which is fun. To start your link monster control in the grave, gains four counters and half his attack as its own attack. Now, for the XCs, absolutes to level sevens, which isn't that hard. Can I get an attack? Then, uh, reborn a monster, mainly Vortex, because. Vortex just can return, can just stop another attack. Your opponent only controls two monsters. Yep. Oh, someone that card leaves a, when it leaves a field. Just for someone uh, in that ice from the extra deck. Another level uh, rank seven that came from dual overload. Dark Italian dragon. In my opinion, this is way better than Dark Rebellion. Because for him, you only need to attach uh, one material. is also a quick effect. It has the attack the attack points of your opponent's monster, and it's permanent. And when it's destroyed by a battle, you can place this in the pendulum scale and sit a face of the extra deck. It's just fun. It can help out too. Another another exceeds pendulum. Arise raging dragon. Uh, he has two effects. You can only, you just use one material for these. Boy wipe your opponent can attack twice and gain uh, how much attack? He gains two hundred attack for each card destroyed by this effect, which is fun. Here's my other uh, exceeds pendulum. The the original one too. Adams Rebellion. So he doesn't need to attach any materials. So when this guy is summoned, the store as many level seven or lower monsters your opponent controls. They take one thousand points of damage for each one. You don't need materials for this. You just need this and uh, rank seven dragon, which are using Yang Sheng to for to convert them to level sevens. And the whole harbinger to negate spells. So if you're gonna ash them and they try to call by the grave, you can just use whole harbinger's effect to negate uh to negate look, I can't talk today. To negate call by the grave so your ash spell some effect can go off. Out uh, to the links. Oh I'm so lucky to pull this one card I'm about to show you guys. No well not Oh yeah, you're racing the other one. Virtue Anaconda. My god, this car is is going up and down and prices is driving me crazy. So this guy has two effects. One you can target one monster one monster on the field. Convert it into a dark. And the second effect you can pay two thousand life points to send a poly well a normal normal or quick plague quick play. Poly or fusion card from the deck to the grave, but you can't you can't spare someone on that turn, so you can pay two thousand life points, send super poly to the grave, wait for your opponent's turn to activate that effect, because this doesn't gain on that effect until the end. It's a permanent effect, which is nice. And you can only use each of these effects once per turn, so you can only use one of those effects that on that turn, which is nice. And the link for this deck, Borlo's Sword. Nice effect. I like it. Out to the side deck. Ghost Bell Haunted Mansion. I just have it because why not? I just like to 
I have some uh, hand traps in just in case. Oh yeah, I forgot uh, to mention. I have some alternative cards in the side deck for any of the pricey cards that you may have seen in the deck in my deck profile. So Ara is Venom Dragon. It well it just needs Ara Eyes and Stern Venom that's on the field. And uh Stern Venom Lethal Dose Dragon that came from Dual Overload. I like this one, it's better than Ara's Venom Dragon, but you wanna run Ara's Venom Dragon instead of this. <laughs> because for this card you need three dark pendulum monsters. But for that, because of that, its effect is better than Stern Venom, Ara's Venom. Because each time a cart is sent from the field to the grave, uh, place one spinner cannon for each card sent, and all monsters except for Dark Dragons loses 200 attack for each Venom counter on this. Yeah, and so during, um, during your opponent's main phase, you can negate the effects of all the monsters on the field, and that's a once per turn. And this card is destroyed in the monster zone. You can just place in the sp in the pendulum zone, which is nice. Now for this side deck, I have some super poly targets. I have Brandon Camara for selling grades, which is nice and you know? all. Just to <laughs> just to make sure they don't they can't do shit at the words. Uh, for Sh El Shadal, for Shadal, El Shadal contract. Construct, it helps sometimes, but not all the times, just sometimes. Uh, Clay Wing Synchro Dragon, I have this one just in case if I lose in the other ones, which for me most likely will happen. Uh, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, it's upgraded form. It gains attack when it, bat uh, when it battles an opponent's monster, which has a quick effect. Oh no. That's the uh, negation. Yeah, when this card battles a level 5 or higher monster that your opponent controls, it gains equal attack. Trying to bring it up forward so you can, so you can all see that. God damn, I wish I can. I wish I had a gold pair right now. That was a trying to do it early in the morning. Uh, <laughs> Ignist. Ignister. <laughs> Oof. This card was hard to find for me. So destroy a card, uh, pendulum monster you control. Uh, yeah, shuffle one card in the field, which is not targeting. Is a non-target removal for the field, which is fun. I don't use a second effect because I'm not using any Dracos. Uh, Scarlet Red. Just a board way for your opponent for special summons. And your opponent takes 500 for each card. And for another link monster, Zephra. My friends were telling me to play this. For the, not to play, for, to main deck it. I really don't like it because it just takes up space for the extra deck. And I just don't like that effect of it. Bench this in a monster in one monster your opponent has and then during the second standby they come back. Yeah, not really good option if you're going against Grand Maju. So anyways that was the deck profile. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Hopefully in the near future I can I find myself a good GoPro to use instead of my phone. Cause goddamn I I wanna get better quality for you guys. But anyways, that's it for this. I hope you all have a great day.